Hello everyone. So today I am going to do more of an educational type of video, a healing video, okay? Um, I'm going to, I tried to do this the other day, but it didn't work out quite well because I did it on a live stream and you guys know uh, my live streams are always crazy. Like you never know what's going to happen with my live streams and they just, um, they never go the way that I plan it. So <laughs> that was a fail. I ended the last time I tried to talk about this was, or do this type of video. I ended up, my friend got on and we just started chatting, like we're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation basically in the damn live stream. <laughs> just like, yeah, that's usually what happens. There's usually like a few people will join my live streams and then I'll just end up focusing on them instead of doing what the hell I was supposed to be doing. It's always like that. I have a problem focusing, okay? I have a problem with my attention span, okay? So today we're going to be looking at crystals and a crystal healing because taking a look at particularly my crystal collection because um, I know people are going through a lot and I wanted to do some more healing videos, right? So that I can help people heal. And um, I have, and this is uh, very special to me because I do come from a religion that um, this was always a part of my life all growing up. And it's the sect of Islam that I grew up in. If you guys don't know, I was raised um, as a Muslim um, person. I still am um, a Muslim person. Um, to this day, and um, I do speak Arabic, I do do all those things, I do all the rituals, I do all those things, okay, my friend, it's a big part of my life, and everything, and growing up, uh, but you have to understand that not all Muslims are the same, okay, guys, there's many different sects of um, the religion of Islam, okay, there's like tons, tons of them, I don't even remember the how many, there's like that, uh, like, a lot okay and i come a majority of the muslim population that you will meet in your life it, it's basically split in the majority like the overall is into two parts and then the and then that's when it like, kind of like from those two it branches out into smaller smaller kind of like uh, you know like there's different types of christians right different sects of christianity and judaism and all that it's the same in islam okay so um the the sect that i am a part of is part um all of my life like it it does um acknowledge that magic mysticism uh astrology all of these things are very 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 real we believe in it and we practice it's practice it's oftentimes you'll find that it's often frowned upon just like it is in every other um religion and culture a lot of people frown upon this uh, type of thing because um magic and all this kind of stuff, magic mysticism um any kind of mad like talisman any kind of crystal healing kind of a thing it's often um people take it the wrong way okay not it's so if you meet a muslim person and they don't know what the hell you're talking about and they're like well muslim people don't do that well then like i'm telling you i'm part of a very um small sect of muslim people that do this okay i grew up in a um a sect of Islam that is very uh, focuses on spiritualism, magic, um, um, different worlds, different dimensions. Um, it acknowledges quantum physics and time travel and all this kind of a stuff. This is all stuff that is in our book, okay, from the sect that I um, come from, okay, in the Quran. So, tired. Um, uh, heal, a crystal healing has always been a part of my life and my parents always, uh, my father particularly has always encouraged it throughout my life. We always have had, um, in Islam, I think that our, and mom's always told in the book, the prophet's family always told, um, his, um, was always told people to, they're called hadith. Okay. Hadith are teachings from the family members of the prophet okay prophet muhammad okay so he uh would say to wear turquoise amethyst carnelian or some people call it agate agate whatever you want to call it okay uh, opal pearls all these kinds of things these are encouraged in the any kind of precious gemstone right is encouraged I have always had this my whole life. So a crystal healing has always been a p big part of my life because it's part of my religion. And growing up, my father always um, just, we always had this on us in a, um, and our jewelry. My mom all has 
like millions of dollars worth of jewelry like um like in her personal collection and I also have a lot in my personal collection that I bought with my own money but like um that will be handed down to me from like um from my aunt, my family members and stuff so it's it's really nice I always do get more in my collection whenever some of my um extended family members um pass it down to me it's always it's always nice you know when I get those things I really love it but anyways I'm going to start off with one of my favorite crystals is that I love is fluoride right this is so heavy oh my god fluoride okay this in particular is uh green fluoride but there's different kinds of fluoride but uh rainbow fluoride green fluoride all kinds of different uh there's purple fluoride all uh, all kinds of fluoride but fluoride is a quartz crystal okay it encourages positivity and balance to do with the mind and memory memory so if you are a student okay and you're in school you have a test coming up or you have problems with your memory or maybe you have some kind of mental thing going on in your life that uh, you need help with okay anything to do with um the mind i would I'm particularly um like retention of information use fluoride like if you have a test coming up or anything like that wear fluoride crystals um, study with fluoride with you all the, all those different kinds of things you can do um, um, just use it um, practically okay sew it into your in your clothes I do that all the time too like I put in my clothes and like I'll have buttons and like on my clothes and things so like there's different ways that you can do this okay so fluoride is um, one of my favorite crystals to work with um, particularly because I do have um, some issues with my memory guys I'm very forgetful so fluoride has always been one of my favorite crystals um, here I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about this one this is an emerald skull that I have I bought this for somebody in particular um, I don't talk to this person anymore and I probably never will again, but I bought this for him all many like a long time ago like many years ago Maybe like two like three years ago. I bought this for him I wanted to give it to him as a gift and this will cost me like $400. This is a big chunk of emerald Okay from I think that I got this this came from I don't remember <sighs> Which country that the the source of this was from but this is a, a emerald skull it's um yeah it's an emerald skull an emerald is good when you're dealing with the heart chakra okay particularly in ma matters of the heart opening your heart so maybe love any kind of health problems that you're having regarding um uh, like heart issues um just keep like if you want to visit somebody in the hospital give them emerald or maybe somebody might have like heart i have heart problems guys like it runs in my family like all the men in my family die from heart attacks. I've had a heart attack too. So like, um, it's, and like my mom did too. Like, like, like heart attack is a big thing in my family. Okay, um, so it's very scary. So I, I've always worn emerald. It has always been one of my favorite stones. Okay, emerald is good for healing the heart chakra. The heart chakra represent, is represented with by the color green. So emerald goes with along with the heart chakra. Right, heart chakra. Um, anything to do with emerald is going to help you balance out your emotions um healing of the heart or help you to uh, your overall balance and your health okay your overall well-being in regards to like um healthy healthy attachments to things um heart 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 disease heart balance um opening your heart to somebody attracting healthy relationships um okay let me let me see some other ones other things emerald is good emerald has always been it's like so emerald is one of the more expensive ones like uh it's really up there it's much uh, very uh it's a precious gemstone okay so um emerald is pretty um pricey you can get semi-precious emerald like this um emerald that's like pulverized and then like um put back together there are there are different ways that you can get cheaper emerald like uh, they'll have like chips and stuff that they grind that you can get that are gr ground down and it's like reconstructed emerald you might be want to try some of that if you have a good source to get it from okay but emerald promotes health and vigor by eliminating anything to do any negative forces to do with the heart 
and heart and kidneys. Okay, I didn't know that. Circulatory system also. It strengthens the heart. Hmm. So anything to do with the heart, love. Also, uh, yeah, circulatory system, neurological function. So basically from here up, Emerald is good to do with, yeah, heart issues and love, opening your heart. Um, and the heart chakra, if you want to work with the heart chakra, okay? Another crystal that I love and is my favorite, Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye. Mm -hmm. Tiger's Eye is so nice. Particularly yellow, golden, tiger, golden tiger's eye, okay? Uh, tiger's eye is good for courage. People that want to be strong and have the courage to do things, okay? And focus, focus on your goals and having the bravery and courage to go after what it is you want. So tiger's eye is really cool. I love tiger's eyes. Uh, I always wear tiger's eye all the time. That's why I'm so damn crazy. <laughs> I'm always doing weird ass shit. I love tiger's eye. Um, my mom always gives me, uh, my mom likes tiger's eye too. My mom's a Leo, guys. Yeah, so. Uh, and so, um, what else about time? Yeah, so it gives you courage and strength and bravery to go after the things that you want. It also is good for um, taking risk, okay? Risk is good. Uh, so if you're feeling a little bit like you don't have the confidence to go after your dreams, to go after what you want, or you have like a job interview and coming up or something, and you're really nervous or something like that, Tiger's Eye is a good one to give you courage and strength and to, to believe in yourself that you can do something and like, I deserve this, this is, this is good for me and stuff like that, okay? So Tiger's Eye is a great one. Okay, we have Labrador Eye, it's my favorite. Oh my God, oh, Labra, Labrador Eye. Okay, ooh, I got a big chunk from Australia. Ooh, it's a good. This is like a raw chunk. You can see where it was in the ground and everything. I love it. I love it. It's polished on this side though. But that is pure labradorite. Labradorite is a transformative stone. It's, oh my God, it's so wonderful. Labradorite is so good for so many different things, particularly to do with like stress and like transforming yourself into um, tra transmuting negative energy into something positive. So this is a great one for artists. This is a great one for anybody who's like a little bit like um, neurotic like me <laughs> um if you if you suffer with like um negative energy okay you can use um or having negative influences in your life like maybe people around you or maybe you struggle with anxiety or depression or something like that or stress or stress in your life for whatever reason Labradorai can help you to harness those energies, those negative energies and emotions that you're feeling and to transmute it into something beautiful, okay, something great for you. It will, um, yeah, it's often, yeah, it's like, it's so funny because like one of my favorite um, cartoons, like one of my favorite anime is like Jewel Pet. This is so funny. Like my favorite was like Lab Labra, Lab Labra is my favorite um character from jewel pet jewel pet tinkle especially jewel pet is my favorite <laughs> sanrio anime i love jewel pet so much i have like all the games and all the i have like jewel pet clothes and toys and everything i love jewel pet so much jewel pet's very special to me guys when i was when my i raised my baby niece the very first grandchild that was born in my family I was i became her mother overnight i was just thrust into this role like overnight like when I like got out of college, I um I moved back home and like my my sister in law was in the hospital. Like we thought she was gonna die because she has she has um, like autoimmune disease and everything, guys. And so like she was in the hospital for like a good year, and uh, she had just given birth to her daughter. And like I just has moved home from college, and like I was like and like I was left alone with the baby. And I had never seen a baby before in my life. And this, I was, so my baby niece is so special to me. My first, the first, my uh, the first, my uh, baby niece that came. Sometimes you might see her on my channel, or we do. She has a YouTube channel too, but um, uh, when she was born, I we used to watch Jewel Pet together because I I used to stay home with her, and um, 
I used to show her jewel pen. We used to sing all the songs together and everything from the anime. Like I would show it to her. And she had all the like songs memorized, like in Japanese and everything. And I would I would teach it to her and we would play uh, we would uh she she used to know this. She's probably forgotten now. She probably has no idea what the hell I'm talking about now. But when she was a baby, like I remember like she could speak a little she uh, some of her her first words were Japanese. <laughs> her first word, particularly her okay, my baby niece's first words were pom pom, okay? Pom pom means clap, and it's like the onomatopoeia of uh, clap in Japanese, and um, that's what pom pom means. And like her first word was pom. <laughs> that was her first word because my friend Carrie. Uh, like I'm not gonna get into it, but like um, it's like yeah, her first yeah, her first words ever spoken was pom pom. It's a Japanese word that means clap, and like it's so funny like she learned that from me like uh, um yeah she spoke her first words with me when i raised her from a baby like um so i like that was such a crap i don't know how i got through that dude because i was running my own business at that time i was like at the peak of my when I, when I used to have an old business that i don't have that business anymore i shut i shut that down but like um uh yeah that was like right in the middle and then like all of a sudden this baby just appeared one day and, and like was left with me and, like and i raised her like for for like a good like eight months every day i just became a mother overnight and it was like crazy because i never i never seen a, a baby before because y'all know like in my family i'm the youngest child in my family and I'm, so like i've never been around into like younger kids or anything like that like there wasn't there was just none of them um i had never been around children before so like that was pretty funny but like uh, labra's a good one for dealing with stress if you're a mother um, um uh, yeah use labra to help you deal with stresses of being overwhelmed with your children okay and the next one we're going to talk about is rose quartz okay this is a very special one everybody has to have this one in their collection okay rose quartz is um Rose quartz is for attracting um, love and friendship and healthy connections in your life. Rose quartz is um, f f um, for attracting people to you. Rose quartz is, brings out. It, it really. Uh, rose. I don't. Rose quartz is good for um, like if you're having a hard time with your friends or your loved ones or your girlfriend or boyfriend or anything. Get them rose quartz, okay? Rose quartz is like you know the love stone. It's like uh, it'll make people love you and attract new love into your life and heal relationships that you're struggling with and all that kind of a stuff but rose quartz is really nice um i have a lot of rose quartz in my in my collection um and then i have ooh, obsidian obsidian skull this is pure obsidian guys mm. obsidian is good for blocking negativity um blocking negativity and um keeping negative people away from you particularly okay yeah i'll just say that here i have a big ass chunk of moonstone Ooh, this one is iridescent too but i don't know if you can see it but it's iridescent but um moonstone this is a big chunk of moonstone moonstone is good for stress also moonstone is good for grounding yourself and for um in times where you feel like you're um you there's a lot of tension and it's good for a heightened um intuition and awareness it's very similar to like amethyst amethyst is um good for like psychic attack and uh, heightened intuition if you're like a healer or tarot reader or any kind of spiritual healer or practitioner moonstone and amethyst is always good in islam amethyst is very very highly um regarded in islam and turquoise and amethyst and carnelian are those are the ones in islam that are um said to always keep with you all the time no exceptions okay? okay those are the ones if you want jewelry made or anything uh, just always amethyst carnelian and um or i think they call it ag agate or a gates and uh, well and over there in like the middle east it's called the keek okay so that's what they call it over there but yeah that's another one also uh, moonstone amethyst um i don't have any amethyst do i have an amethyst I don't think I have any around. Oh, here's a piece. Um, this is a very small piece, though. Um, it's not like a, I don't know. I don't think I have a big chunk around that's like any. But this is a very small piece of amethyst. Amethyst is good for stress and anxiety. If you suffer from anxiety, depression, stress, amethyst is good for for you. Sunstone. Here's a sunstone. 
Okay, Sunstone is the happiness stone. It's just good for overall overall joy and bringing happiness. It's like kind of like you want to know what it is. It's just for your overall happiness. It has to do with the solar plexus chakra, like where your happiness comes from. Okay, like kind of like if the sun tarot. There's no negativity that's going to come from sun stone. Sunstone is wonderful. It makes you, it's just for your overall life and well-being and to bring positivity into your life. Okay, sunstone is amazing. Here I have an orb of appetite. Mm. I don't remember what appetite is good for. I have, I'm like part of a club, guys, that they send me like crystals um, every month. Like I get like a thousand dollars worth of crystals in the mail like every month. So like, um, I don't remember what this one. I have so many. Like I don't even remember what some of them. Appetite aids and absorbs. Absor uh, okay. Oh, so this is good for like physical physical symptoms like arthritis, joints, bones, teeth formation. Oh, so like the physical body. Appetite is very good for uh, transmuting cells, regeneration of cells, and your metabolism. Oh, so if you want to lose weight, or um, lose weight or gain muscle or you're trying to change your physical body in some kind of a way like maybe you have like problems with um like maybe your skin or your hair or your teeth or your bones or your uh, just your cell uh, reformation uh, also for pain and joints and things like that so anything with the physical body you have pain and you want to regenerate appetite is a good one okay so if you're you're going on a health kick okay if you're like trying to stop like smoking or drinking or doing drugs or anything appetite is a good crystal for you it's going to help to uh, revitalize you here's one that was left over from my etsy shop this is a sailor moon wand it's like the what what is this one called sweet heart attack wand or something i don't know this is sodalite when it's like in the shape of sailor moon's like little wand that she uses in the anime so sodalite is good for uh, communication with loved ones okay it helps you really communicate properly with um it, it encourages that you to tell the truth okay the truth so if you have a problems with lying ass bitches in your life <laughs> give them some sodalite okay or you want to be able to express yourself more clearer, clearly to, to people if you have problems with expression, like maybe you have a stutter or maybe you have problems with your speech or maybe you're learning a new language or something like that. Um, Sodalite will help you and it helps you boost your confidence with com around regarding community. So maybe if you're a writer or a singer or anything like that or um, it will help you with any kind of communication expression um, that you want to put out into the world, okay, with writing singing art dance any kind of thing like that sodalite is very good for expressing and communicating the truth of who you are okay and it helps you overcome like any kind of insecurities you have around communicating whatever it is that you needed to communicate to whoever you love okay so yeah guys those are some of the um crystals that i have i have a lot more i, I don't want to i don't have the time to go over all of them even though i would love to but um, those are just a few in my collection. I have so many more that, but I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, guys, but I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something from it and that you um, might, uh, if you need help with finding crystals or getting crystals, you can always email me or message me or, or whatever. And I would definitely help you and recommend any kind of crystal for you that you might want to try out and where to get it, particularly the sources where I get mine from. I usually order mine from Canada. Um, of Niagara Falls kind of um, areas where I usually get mine is from Niagara Falls and Australia is where I get mine but um yeah so like if you enjoyed this video please let me know okay if you learned something bye, -bye.